Welcome to today's episode, my friends, where we break down the latest and greatest here in the meta for Cookie Run Kingdom, Kingdom Arena, Donning World Season 1 here for April. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe. On top of that, if you got a question, if you got a comment, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you and feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Today, we'll break down the latest and greatest, like I said, in the meta, some of the things that have changed and evolved, and take a look at some of the key teams. Now, certainly, as always, we do have a lot of that uh, PvP King Marina team making here for you that you can check out. We'll have some of those links down below as well for you here today. And we may even go run a few runs real fast because we got a little bit more to scale up here because that's what we can do. So let's get into it here because you're here to understand more about what's happening in King Marina this season, Donning World Season 1, and the meta today. So a couple things about this. Um, certainly things have changed and evolved. Um, there are kind of a, a wide range of things going on. We have seen some newer cookies once again, so quickly to call those out. Um, those new cookies and on top of that magic candies uh, with the latest and greatest are this. So first and foremost, we did get magic candy um, for our friend. Where are you? Where are you? There you are right here. We got strawberry crepe cookies, magic candy. As you can see, I got mine here. Um, we'll come back and talk about each of these cookies in a little bit. Um, additionally, on top of that, uh, we did get caramel shoe cookie. So that's a newer one. And last but not least, urchin here. So street urchin. Now, those are all key pieces to understand what has kind of ensued um, since the last one of these. And we always like to share some of those so that we understand what's kind of evolved and what's happened. So um, that is what is new in terms of those pieces. Additionally, on top of that, one of the other things that always call out here um, is when we do go to the arena seasons, you got featured cookies. Here we do have damage resist in arena. So if you are running strawberry grape, capsation, and street urchin cookie, um, damage resist in arena is plus 5%. So that can make or break and on top of that make that difference um, for your teams. Now that's running from April 17th to May 14th. So all key things to kind of call out when it comes to the meta here for Kingdom Arena. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what has that left us with or how are things looking here in the meta and in our top 100. So quickly here, we're gonna scroll all the way back to the top so that you can see what's going on and what's happening. Um, and no, I just like to run a low level defense. Um, that is not my defense. Um, and I do that so that we can have revenges later um, on top of that to get events. That's one thing I like to recommend. This is the team that I am on right now is actually the three defense team. Um, you can check that video out here or down below. So a couple things about this. That team is still part of the meta, but one of the biggest differences that you will see, and I did talk about this, um, I believe in the last episode when it came to the meta uh, of Kingdom Arena, if not in some of the uh, uh, PvP videos, is really this. You're going to start seeing a lot more of that Ice Yeti cookie again. So this is one of the bigger differences between the last season and this season and what's going on in the meta or month and this month. Um, at least for now, is that Ice Cold Yeti. Now, the main reason there is to really be a counter to the lovely Frost Queen. So that is why you're going to see that um, as part of the teams and additionally on the defensive side. That's right. So that's exactly why you're seeing these things here um, at this level right now. And as you can see, a culmination of a few different things, some of them not running a healer, uh, or a secondary healer. If they're not Ryan Yeti, they're Ryan Snap. You can't run both, obviously. Um, so those are some things to pay attention to. Let's keep going. We'll talk about some of that here. Um, ideally, what a lot of these are running is three damage dealers or four damage dealers. In this case, um, this is going to be an Ice Cold Yeti, probably plus um, the lovely, lovely Rebel. Um, so let's go ahead and keep moving down here. We'll see lots of the same cookies. Now, here is the three defense team right there. So like I said, it's still in the meta. It's still in the top 20, um, as you can see right there as well. So a very, very strong team. Um, we'll continue to go down so you can see these things. Lots of the same cookies over and over and over again, um, which really solidifies the meta. Um, and again, here, Black Pearl, one of those ones that can be in and out, um, depending on what they're running. If you want to be more on that damage dealing side, get that damage resist bypass. Um, again, this one's more focused on three damage dealers here. 27. This is the one that I'm talking about. Um, here, three damage dealers. We get Snap, and then we have Rebel right there in the front. Um, as you can see for that Grandmaster 1. So that is one of the different pieces there. 
when it comes to these particular uh, setups. This is a little bit of a newer one in terms of last season. Um, and again, the Ice Cold Yeti. And then we're still seeing the three defense here as well. There's a Burnt Cheese one. Um, again, a little bit different. This is more of a damage dealing based team, um, similar to above. They're not running the uh, um, Elder Fairy though, in that particular instance, uh, probably because, ooh, probably because their Crimson Coral is a little bit better. Uh, and then here we go again, more of that damage dealing focus. This is gonna be three defense team, probably. Um, again, not fully three defense, but probably uh, double up there. Very, very high power, 41, four million, it's a lot. Um, particularly when you can see me as a free-to-play player, I'm at 1.7. Yes, that's a lot. So here it is again. This is the Ice Cold Yeti ver variant um, instead of the Snapdragon variant with Rebel in there too. Um, here we go with probably the triple defense team. A little bit different breakout. Here you go. Continue all the way back through 50s. And again, there's our triple D. Um, here's the same one that we just saw before. A little bit more focus on that damage. Here we go. Here we go. A lot of Crimson Coral in there again. Elder Fairy. And here we go again. Triple defense team right there. There's is almost, well, is one million higher than mine. And there you go again. There's the Rebel with Snap. A little bit different setup there. Again, triple defense, but with uh, uh, Fettuccine. Very low, though. So who knows on that one? Interesting to see. And then again, another triple attack. With crimson coral so very very interesting what we're seeing here this one has and runs black pearl instead um again and some of the things that we have seen and talked about uh previously so as you can see the, the new cookies haven't really made much of an impact um additionally when we do look at the season stuff here and the featured cookies not taking advantage of that as well in the current meta and the way it looks and then additionally like i said triple d is still in there but we did really see the rise of the ice cold yeti um, making some impacts and some differences there uh, as well. So those are all the key pieces, lots of the same cookies that we are seeing. Um, and we can quickly look at that again, if you still have a question. So you are seeing golden cheese, you're seeing the uh, lovely Hollyberry in there. You got white Lily, you got frost queen. Um, we also have black pearl snap and ice cold Yeti plus crimson plus elder fairy and financier in there as well um plus rebel so very very big uh kind of i'd say 10 ish cookies um that you're gonna see over and over again in terms of what's happening there for you um and in terms of what you are gonna find out there in the kingdom arena in terms of pvp so that my friends pretty much sums up a lot of the key pieces here of the kingdom arena um, as we took a look at some of the history, what's ensued over the last month, the way that the meta set up with the top 100 players, some of those key differences, some of the stuff that still pulled through and carried over, and then additionally, not a breakthrough with some of those new cookies as well. So with that, let's go ahead and see how quickly we can get here. We got 100 points to get all the way up to our next one here and make it to the lovely Master 5, um, and then we'll keep, keep on climbing as always. Uh, to Elite Plus. So I know many of you always ask me about this. Why don't you just keep going? Um, a, uh, I do really, really enjoy King Marina and PvP. Um, however, it just ends up becoming a time issue uh, for me personally, not believe it or not, um, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and we'll keep climbing because we do need to get our dailies in. Um, you can see most of the stuff I should be able to take down pretty easily and pretty consistently. Um, this one's fairly high, but again, we have the right team and makeup for it. So it's going to be chop liver, my friends. All right, maybe one more here will get us. This is a similar team to mine. Well, we should be through that. Yep, there we go. And there we have it, my friends. Onwards and upwards in a great way to close out our day. All right, so Master 5, stay tuned as always because we got a lot more headed your way here. Um, and with that, I hope you enjoyed today's episode for our Kingdom Arena Donning World Season 1 as we broke down all the latest and greatest things, some of the history like we said before. Um, and with that, if you still got a question, if you got a comment, you know where to find me, let me know and come swing by the Discord server and say hello, my friends. 
With that, thank you for tuning in today. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this community. Thank you to all of our members. I really appreciate that. And on top of that, we got affiliate links. You can check those out. Memberships are also there available to you. Something there for everyone. As I like to say, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, stay connected, my friends. And like I said before, we got a ton of these PvP teams here on the channel. You can check those out. I've got some of the links there for you, too. Get out there. Enjoy Dining World Season 1. I'll see you as we climb the ladder together. And keep on running, my friends.